Okay, so you have clicked on the link and gone to our History of Still Photography Google Plus page. And remember the link is tiny.cc slash capital H-O-S-P. Once you go to that URL, it will expand and it's going to take you to a big long one that looks like the one you see at the top of the page here. But once you see this page, it means you're here. The icon you see over on the right is going to change based upon your icon that's associated with your Google Plus page. I'm logged in now as a fictitious person so that I can show you what it looks like with a new user's account. Um, and essentially what you are going to want to do is click on, actually not click on, you're going to want to locate the follow button at the top of the page. And you don't want to click on it, you actually just want to hover over it with your mouse. And by hovering over it, you're going to see a drop down menu. What Google Plus has done is it has set up a series of circles for you that you can use. You can add this page to one of these circles. You'll get more familiar with what circles are as you move forward, but basically you don't have access to anything. Um, you don't have full access to what the people in Google Plus have shared until you add them to your circles. So what I recommend that you do is actually click on create a new circle and you can call it classes and click create. Click OK, got it after you've read that page. And now that history of still photography page has been added to your classes circle. If you have any other classes that create Google Plus pages, you could actually add those pages to that same circle. If you want to change the name of that circle, you can change it. If you want to add this page to a different circle entirely, you can do that as well. This is just a suggestion to get you started. But once that follow button turns green and has a customized name of one of your circles in it at the top, you are good to go. And at that point, I can add you back to my circles and then I can start inviting you to Hangouts that we'll be using in our class.